Hey, what's going on everybody? Mr. Cheap back with another creative on the cheap voiceover video. A uh, couple of special shout outs at the beginning of the video today. Hello to everyone from Canada. We got some comments from Canada on the last one. And to everybody from the Netherlands, particularly people from Rotterdam, which is apparently much cleaner and less expensive than Amsterdam. If you're from Amsterdam, I'm sorry. Uh, today, we're doing Halloween Dollar Tree DIYs from Creative on the Cheap DIYs and Home Decor. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I, I was told to say that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this sign and we're going to bake it into a pie. Um, and not, again, she buys signs like you don't have to use a Halloween sign for a Halloween project. You can buy a sign for whatever and turn it into whatever else you want to because she just rips everything off of it anyway. So it'd also be just fine if you just had pieces of wood or cardboard or something else that you wanted to use. But you need to make sure that it fits in your pie pan because otherwise when you bake the sign pie, it will not fit into the oven very well if it's hanging over the edges. And sometimes the edges like droop off and kind of fall down the edges of the, of the pie tin when you do all of that. Um, now we take what's most likely Waverly White chalk paint, whitest chalk paint in the world. Um, and we do a good job painting one side of it, but then just do a very thin streak up at the top towards the other side. Not sure why. Oh, now she's going to go back and forth. And then miraculously it's done. She needs to start like snapping her fingers like when she does that so that you know that it didn't magically paint itself. She had to use a special command or a snap of her fingers or something that made that paint fly onto it. Kind of like the old Bewitched, if anybody's old enough to remember that TV show. Um, now, uh, that blue is not really much of a Halloween color, but I guess she decided to use it because of the polka dots. Oh, she didn't leave it on. Yeah, she knew it didn't match. Uh, but she's going to paint blank, black around the outside of this. And I guess we're doing all of this before we bake it into a pie. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to the pie plate, but um, this stuff all needs to be done before you bake it into the pie, apparently. Um, this is, looks like magnetic strip stuff and she cut a whole lot of it, which may reverse the polarity of the magnet. Um, not real sure why we need to magnetize this thing and why she's using something that's already black on top of something that's black. Oh, now she's going to paint it. Yeah, she realized it didn't look very good. Um, she must have put it on there and said, wait, I can't even see it. And then it took her like 10 minutes to find it, to pick it back up so that she could paint it. And then um, she got this sticker that says Hocus Pocus What's Brewing Coffee Company. Uh, on a side note, I'm thinking that What's Brewing is probably the tagline and it's called Hocus Pocus Coffee Company. But it drives me nuts when people separate the two parts of like a company name or something with a logo or a tagline in between them. So that if you actually read it logically, left to right, top to bottom, unless you're reading Arabic, in which case you read right to left. Um... That this would bother me a whole lot because it's Hocus Pocus Coffee Company and then you can say what's brewing below it but when you say Hocus Pocus what's brewing coffee company it sounds like the name of the company is Hocus Pocus what's brewing and that's not necessarily a great marketing strategy see I don't even know where we baked a pie and all of that apparently at some point you had to bake that to make the paint set up or something maybe it wasn't a pie and she was just using the pie plate for it um, but you got to bake it somewhere in there 350 is a good place to start if you need a temperature and I would say 15 to 20 minutes now She's totally wasting time here She just took that white sculpture of a butterfly and she painted it white again um, You don't need to do that because it was already white uh, not only will it save you some materials, but it'll also save you some time maybe she did it because you can't really mess it up, right? So you can paint it white and go, oh, look what a good job I did. The whole thing's white now, except it was white to begin with. So, you know, it's kind of like tooting your own horn when, you know, everything was already done for you. And then she's going to take the white sign that she painted white, which is still white, and she's going to make the edges of it not so white. Um... And this is a special sponge painting technique called Not So White um, that just makes things look a little dingier and dirtier. Um, I apologize if you guys hear like a quick muffle every once in a while when I'm talking, but I got a nosebleed while I was trying to record this. I haven't had a nosebleed since like I was a kid. Um, 
And so I keep having to like wipe my nose because I think it's bleeding again. But it's not bleeding right now. Um, also, if you have a nosebleed, that's a bad thing while you're crafting. Unless you're crafting something that you're eventually going to paint red. Um, you might want to stop crafting while you have a nosebleed until it has stopped. Uh, until the bleeding has subsided. And make sure that you don't get the blood all over your crafting project. Now, what she's done here take something and turn it inside out. It looks like one of those sleeves that you get like on your coffee cup if you get to go coffee somewhere. Um, and then she's taken cheaty scissors. These are called cheaty scissors because the scissors are curved. So if you're trying to cut something curved, it's like super simple, right? Uh, if you were really skillful, like I am when you craft, you could use straight scissors and cut a perfect circle out with it. Uh, but Courtney cheats and uses cheaty scissors. Oh, she's doing it again. Now she's gonna cut something else out here. I don't know that that's really a cup of coffee. I think that's a fake cup of coffee. Um, I don't think there's actually any coffee in that thing. It just looks kind of like a cup of coffee. And so, which is brew dark roast coffee? Now see, that makes sense. When you read it from left to right, top to bottom, that's what it says. Did she make the other sign? I don't think she made that other sign. I think she just put that thing in there and like tried to pass it off as her own or something. That's cheating. Um, Next, we're going to take a ghost sign, and my guess is that this came from Dollar Tree, where we found out, if you watched my last crafting video on the channel, um, apparently everything costs a dollar. However, they do not sell trees, and so the name is mostly true, but a little misleading. Um, there is not like a, a half-off section either, where like stuff is 50 cents, apparently. But we did see in the comments that people want me to go to Dollar Tree at some point since I've never been and do a Dollar Tree haul. Courtney told me they have candy there, so I'm willing to do it. Now, she's cutting off pieces of paper. This time she's not using cheaty scissors, she's using a cheaty board. Uh, does anybody else remember like art class when you were in elementary school and they had the big old like guillotine paper cutter with the giant thing on it? Those were a lot cooler than the one Courtney has. Hers is like all safe and stuff. You can't chop a finger off in it. I had an art teacher in the third grade who chopped part of her finger off in one of those and we thought she was like super cool. All right, now she's taking pieces of paper that she cut into triangles so she didn't even need to use the straight edge cheaty cutter that she had because she was just cutting triangles anyway. And she is hanging this stuff on a piece of, oh, that's the fully unbraided burlap string. This is not the unbraided rebraid. She just fully unbraided. So that was probably like a three quarter inch thick rope made out of burlap string that was all braided together. And she unwound it and unwound it and unwound it until she got a single string and was able to put these little pennants. Those are called pennants, um, not pendants, which would be very similar but pennant, pendants, pen, not Penzance, which is part of the name of a famous opera, the Pirates of Penzance, um, but not pendants, which are things that hang off of like a necklace and hang down, or lights that hang over your island in your kitchen, but pendants, um, which, well, we can't talk about it anymore because they're not on the screen. Anyway, that'll be a conversation for another video. We will discuss the differences between Penzance, Pendance, and Penance. Penance. Penance is a whole nother thing. Yeah, we're not going to get into religious topics here. So, now, we're going to take the jar of wooden balls. And if y'all have not seen the jar of wooden balls before, Courtney has multiple jars of wooden balls. We have wooden balls in all sizes. What would make sense would be to have one jar of small ones and one jar of medium ones and one jar of large, but no, she has multiple different sized jars and then she just mixes up all the different sized wooden balls inside of them. Um, it wastes a whole lot of time. Every time she needs a ball of a certain size, she probably has to go find a jar and then dump everything out of it and find the one in the size that she wants to and then she just puts them all back in. So she took those um, big hoop earrings and she painted them black. And now she is taking, oh, it's just a picture frame without a picture in it. It'd be cooler if people sold picture frames with like a cool picture in it. And then you could like hang it on your wall and go, oh, look at this picture I took, except you didn't. Um, and now she's got a sign that she probably bought at Dollar Tree that says, I've got a feeling inside my bones. 
Um, most people don't feel what goes on inside their bones. Um, inside your bones is a substance called marrow, and it's where all of your blood cells are uh, basically created inside of your body. Um, and most people don't go, ooh, my marrow itches, or you know, something else like it. Um, so not really sure. Oh, okay. So she's joking around. She's going to put a skeleton on this inside my bones. Ha ha. Play on words. Very catchy. Um, oh, she did also tell me, I think it was in this video. May, I, maybe it was in this video. She was joking around and said, you know, I think somebody should take the little skeletons and make them into the village people doing YMCA. And somebody sent her a picture of it. I don't know if she posted that on Insta or something else, but somebody crafted that and sent her a picture of it. So pretty cool. Um, I will tell you guys what I want you to craft when I'm ready for you to craft something, but I'm not ready for y'all to craft anything yet. So I haven't put that out there, uh, but I will. I'll put that out there soon. Oh, and then she made a pirate hat for it uh, for the skeleton. Oh, no, it's a pilgrim hat because it's got the buckle on the front. I I can't tell what this is. It better not be a witch hat. Because if it's a skeleton, skeletons don't wear witch hats. Because they're not witches, right? They're skeletons. That's like mixing up your evil villains. That's like saying that, you know, I don't know who the best evil villains to mix up are. Who are the best evil villains out there? Are y'all Marvel or DC people? I still don't understand all of that. That's Andy's department to keep all of the different comic book people separated. What is she doing? Oh, it's, I bet it's a bow tie. Yeah, probably a bow tie. Even though that's not what bow ties look like. And she put a witch hat on top of a skeleton. Totally bad idea. Don't ever do that. All right, now we got more cheaty scissors. But these cheaty scissors are straight cheaty scissors. However, they're like spring loaded. So I think they just like cut for you. You don't even have to do anything. You just like say, scissors, cut, scissor power, activate, something like that. And they just cut through whatever it is that they're doing. Because I know that Courtney doesn't really like to do a whole lot of work. And so they're probably automatic scissors. Now she has, I mean, this looks like she's just making scraps of paper and really making a mess on her desk. Um, yeah, that's not going to, oh, she's got the cheaty scissors again, cutting circles um, but I don't think that piece of paper, like, is just going to glue flat on his head. Oh, now, see, she knew it. She figured it out that you can't have a witch skeleton. That doesn't make any sense. So now she's making an Abe Lincoln hat. Um, maybe this is Abe Lincoln's skeleton. And he has a feeling inside his bones. Um, probably not, because he's been dead for a long time. But, you know. Maybe we can just pretend for the purposes of her craft here to make her feel better that Abe Lincoln has a feeling. And now she cut the brim of it off. How's it going to be? Okay. She did two different pieces for this. This is crazy. This is like a whole lot of work. Like next time, just go to the tiny hat store and buy a little tiny hat and glue it onto the dude. Um, if you don't have a tiny hat store near you, uh, they'd probably sell them online like Amazon or something else like that. And then she's too lazy to paint it, so she's just going to color it with a magic marker. I don't think this is one of those scented magic markers. Those were kind of cool, but root beer was the only thing that ever smelled like it was supposed to smell like. So like the brown color was root beer, and it kind of smelled like root beer. But none of the rest of the stuff, like purple was supposed to be grape. It didn't smell like grape. They all smelled like weird highlighter fluid or something else. All right, so Abraham Lincoln skeleton is now on the sign that says, I've got a feeling comma, because she's trying to be grammatically correct, inside my bones, dot, dot, dot. And, oh, that's kind of a cool candle. Do we actually have that in the house? Does it change colors? I don't know where that candle is. I haven't seen that one before. I don't think she crafted that either. Now we have an old bottle. Um, she probably found this in, like, a, an antique store or maybe... When she was out walking one day in the country, um, she was walking past a little creek and saw like the neck of it sticking up and there was like a little glint because the sun was hitting the water on the creek a certain way. And so she went over and dug the bottle up um, 
and now she's painting it. Like, you don't paint antiques. Everybody knows you don't paint antiques because if you put stuff on them, especially if it's newer stuff, now it's no longer an antique because it's not old anymore because you did stuff new to it, and it, like, starts the whole clock back over. It's like plastic surgery. Um, okay, this is another sign that we're using the automatic scissors for, not the cheaty scissors, so the straight ones that cut by themselves. And it says ghost tears. Oh, wow. Um, first, ghosts don't cry. Uh, this is a well-known fact because they don't have eyeballs. And so there's not, you know, some sort of gland or something to release a tear uh, there. They just have empty eye sockets in a sheet. Um, so they don't actually cry. But that's, I guess, if ghosts cried, kind of like when Prince said, when doves cry, that's what their tears would go into and would look like. Now, um, this is a giant letter E with some other stuff with it. E, C, A, is it supposed to spell something or is it just, maybe this was like they had leftover pieces of scrap wood and they cut them into letters, but you know, it would take too much time to cut all the letters apart. So they just cut them together. I don't know. It's a big E. Oh, it's like a, if you look over on the right-hand side, it looks like two eyes and a mouth. Like maybe that's a ghost face. Maybe it's not the letter E. Maybe we're looking at it. It's supposed to be horizontal like it is right now and not vertical. I'm not really sure. Is that going to be like a cobweb tattoo above the eye of the phantom or ghost or whatever that is on the end there? Um, and now, well... No, that is going to be an E because that would be at the top because spiders can only like hang down vertically because there's this thing called gravity. Um, yeah, not really sure where she's going with all of this. Oh, this is a happy spider though because this one's smiling. So if you take something scary and you put a smile on its face, suddenly kids like it. See, it's just a big letter E with a bunch of spiders on it. Courtney doesn't like spiders. Um... Or their cobwebs, because that's stuff that has to be cleaned. I don't know. Hey, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, throw us a like or a thumbs up or send me a paper airplane on Instagram at real Mr. Cheap, but it's real MR Cheap because Mr. wasn't available or it was too many letters or something. I don't know. Courtney tried to explain it to me. But thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.